Hello again everyone and in this video I want to cover some of the changes that we made to version to the PV15 map in version 1.2 that will be coming out in the next within the next 48 hours from the time this video is posted and I'm gonna start off here in the gravel pit with the gold mining because we made several changes to how the gold mining works and first thing you will notice is that I changed the gold mine so that whenever you're close to the gold mining apparatus you get all the numbers of what's going on rather than having to go up to the little box at the top of the stairs you can now get all the information just by getting close the biggest change made to gold mining operation is this tank down at the end here which now when you're doing gold mining, 80% of water that you brought up and put into the water tank is captured after the gold mining process is done. So therefore, we'll show you how this works. Once you have water in your tank, it works the same way as tailings. Whereas I stand here and the tailings number is going down and emptying the tailings uh, back out of the tailings container. The recycled water on the list, when I stand over here, you'll notice that the water value is going up. It is returning the water, recycled water back into the water tank so it can be reused. So 80% of the water is captured and put into the tank. And that will eliminate many of the trips up and down from the lake that you currently have to do and yeah, every time you fill it with 500,000 you should get 400,000 water recycled and you can keep using it until you want to do till it either runs out or you want to bring more water up and both of them are set up that way and another thing I wanted to show you is I changed the way that the gold works. Number one, you won't get any flashing if there's no gold anymore, but whenever there is any gold you will see it in the pan. Previously you used to have to go here and click on a send gold button that would send it to the bank. However, that was a little bit buggy, so I switched it. So now if there's gold and you walk over to the box, boop, it's gone. We didn't get any money for it, but it is now down at the bank location. The gravel comes down to, actually, goes over to the uh, one bank. Here it is. The key bank here has 101 gold. And when you have gold at the bank, just walk up to the ATM and you'll see how much gold you have. In order to sell it at the key bank here you need to go into the box by the door and actually before I go sell it let's clear out my money so we can see exactly how much 101 gold gets. Stand in the box near the door And there you go, we have $100,000. It's basically get you $101,000 for the 101 gold. Gold is now at zero. The other bank over here has the 65 gold from the gravel. That one over there takes sand. So we have 65 gold from the gravel that we just found. We go around to the drive it through. and you can either drive through this area and make your gold deposit and the money comes into the game or you can get out and walk through doesn't matter but that is basically how we change the gold so unless there is someone up there to activate the transfer to the banks or there is someone at the banks to actually sell it you will see the gold up there 
at the gravel pit. Next big change that was made is the silos in the quarry here, all the gravel sand. When you drive underneath them they are not going to start. Uh, you will need to hit the O key now just like you do the other silos, the multi silos, and then it will start filling. You also get the display like the multi silos, only thing is there's only one product in here. And we switch that over so that you now have the proper planes showing when you're playing in single player. You could obviously see that I have gravel now and I'm on single player mode. And that's pretty much it for what's changed down here in the gravel pit. The gold functioning in the silos. Additional changes that are coming in 1.2 are mostly performance related. We've made some changes to get rid of some warnings uh, that were popping up in the, L the Lu yeah, Lua warnings that were popping up in the log file and everything is running much smoother now if you had any issues in the past you might be able to uh, I think we've eliminated all the issues we could think of anyway and that we knew of we have made some changes to yields on the crops the basic uh, crops such as barley, wheat uh, your sugar beets, potatoes, canola they all have a slight increase in yields and we moved the millet from a two-day crop now it takes four days to grow and that also the yield has been adjusted to give you twice as much as the two-day crop was doing now that it's four days and sunflower has been changed from a one-day growth time cycle to three days to grow and that yield has also been adjusted so it outputs three times as much sunflower when you do harvest it. Other than that there will be a complete list of the changes in the notes section we have a list of all the changes that went to 1.2 we've made some trigger adjustments and minor things as well to increase the performance on servers most of the stuff's under the hood but yes we have made changes to the gold mining and that was the main thing I wanted to show y'all and you can expect the next release coming out real soon we'll see you around the corner and we will be getting work on some new features that will be in a later version but this should be it for quite a while as we work on some new features that we'll be releasing probably in a month or so give you some time to get used to what we have here oh one last note is when you do update you should be able to just overwrite your map file for this and everything should work just as well as it did before you uh, changed so that's about it just replace it with the new map file when we get you the link and you're good to go have a good day